everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. I do believe we all have some kind of paper tubes from kitchen rolls, from toilet papers. All my uh, tubes or rolls have been treated with the 99% of alcohol spray. Then I dry them and then I flatten them in a big shot uh, embossing and cutting machine to make them flat like this. And today I'm gonna do some little craft with these goodies. Toilet paper rolls are perfect for making pockets, obviously. Uh, they do have nice strong cardboard and it's easy to make them as a pocket. Just flat them. Uh, add some decorative paper. I'm gonna be working with Christmas papers as Christmas are nearly here and I'm gonna choose some back papers and front papers. Uh, maybe these I like snowmans. And cut the images which can fit here and just glue them down. Easy peasy. I choose these images for back and front. Uh, to make sure it looks like pocket, I'm gonna be using this little cute paper punch and I will try to find the middle or I can place it on the side. It doesn't have to be in the middle. And punch a little entry. So I like vintage look of my uh, of my creations. I'm gonna be using distress ink, and I will add to all sides a little bit of distress ink. Today I'm gonna be using seal brown from Harmony Line Spectrum Noir, and add a little bit of that vintage look. To my uh, little rolls and as you can see my images were uh, slightly smaller so those parts here on the sides uh, I can use washi tape and add their washi tape this one uh, it's in that candy uh, candy cane stripe so I can add there a little bit of washi tape Before I will make them as a pocket, still it's like a sleeve. I can also add an uh, embossing uh, effect. Uh, some of my embossing folders, they can be open this way and they are uh, in the nice size. So I can fit them through and emboss only one side of my pocket. And I do have also this one, I believe the system holds. It does have this cute little one with stars. I know this is for uh, 4th of July collection, I believe. Is it? It is. Americana. Yeah, it's for 4th of July, but it does have these beautiful stars. So I can add the stars here as well. I think I'm gonna take stars around the snowman and I'm gonna put my uh, little pocket to my uh, embossing machine this way here is a roller so I'm gonna go this way and I will try to emboss just part of that and here I am thinking this is also from Sizzix a really beautiful embossing folder and this I'm gonna slide here and oh it goes nicely around the edge of my washi tape. So it looks like this. And I do have cute little stars with the snowman. And it doesn't still have to finish. I can also add something to that back side. Here I can use maybe some stencil and with the paste I can add some stenciling. But before I will add some stenciling or painting, 
Uh, I'm actually gonna use my sewing machine as I do like sewing effect on my project and I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna sew both of these pockets on these three sides. I know it will take a little bit from that pocket but I don't mind that much and I'm gonna add their sewing effect. I love that sewing effect. It always adds a little bit more extra. Uh, I'm gonna create some little labels. I can use these stamps. These are from uh, Woodware. And it, color, it does have name Santa Post Elements. Wonderful, gorgeous stamps. And I'm gonna also try to find something what can go with these images in these just bear with me i do have here a few pieces which i would like to add to my pockets uh, these are from those images a uh, little quotes and notes about winter about christmas so i found there build a snowman which is perfect uh, this one it's kind of like off cut when i have created shaker card using this die uh, it is creative expression Celtic collection Kiera die. It does have, uh, I do have that die somewhere, probably still in my cutting machine. So this is that inside, this one. And if you will have a look, it does have beautiful shape. And what I found, it goes really nicely with this uh, embossing, uh, embossed effect. And it's a really beautiful decoration for my little pockets. So I'm gonna place it probably this way and this br is from this collection is also creative expression sorry for this that's for my ambassadors uh, creative expressions uh, festive furry altered snowflakes and here that br stamp and i think it's going really nicely to those snowmen and here with those gifts again that off cut from my shaker card uh, all I want for Christmas and to do loads of gifts and do not open until Christmas. I do have from this stamp collection, this is woodware, uh, Santa Post elements. So I do have prepared all pieces and I can glue them down in just very easy way. These are decorative enough. And as you can see, I did cut them out from... Uh, food boxes from some cereal boxes I think so it's still kind of like <laughs> junk <laughs> junk craft so one die here do not open, I think. Uh, I distressed edges on all my little stamped images and also these cutouts to make sure I will be not, you know, not too slow with creating. And I think uh, I'm just going to place it on foam tape. This double-sided foam tape because it will make beautiful effect, that pop-up effect. So one here, and just a little bit. And I'm going to place do not open until Christmas here and this rest of my pop-up, no oh, pop-up, <laughs> foam tape, not pop-up tape, foam tape can I fit here, what do you think, nearly, all I want for Christmas. And I'm gonna put out these. And I do have done one pocket. I'm gonna do the same on this one. 
and two little pockets are done very easy way i forgot to get these look at me very easy way they can be used in junk journals as a pocket they can be used at christmas time to put their money or maybe some note and place it with the gift or hang it on <clears throat> on the christmas tree i'm gonna take another two and with these two toilet paper rolls again they were uh, ink inked sprayed with that alcohol ink uh they were sprayed with that alcohol and again they are still open i'm gonna be using this dye it's from tim holtz collection i think it's the biggest one and they are called vintage labels and i'm gonna cut window here here like this i'm gonna pull it out it did cut through to both layers but that second one it's not totally through that dye it's really good it actually cuts uh, uh, like really well i do have now time to put some decorative paper here on this back side before i will add there some acetate sheet here or i can try to pull both off sides i'm gonna keep one with that back side one here i'm gonna help a little bit here in this spot as i said that die is cutting really nicely so one i will keep with the back side one i will keep open i'm gonna put some decorative paper here i place that decorative paper now i do have here a box from uh, last year christmas decorations it's still <laughs> a little bit with glitter so it will be also decorative uh, this side it's in the good width i can cut full this strip full of this side so i do have one sheet for this pocket i can slide it in before i will slide it in i'm gonna get up double-sided tape put my double-sided tape on each of the shorter sides now i'm gonna slide it in now oh, maybe i can make it smaller okay slide it in and i'm gonna take the backing off and i'm gonna take the backing off from here and slide it even more especially here on the top For this second piece, I do have here still nice long piece uh, of that acetate sheet or that acetate piece. So I'm going to give it a try if folded. Yes, that's going to be big enough to fit here. I'm going to fold it in the size of my pocket of my frame here. gonna give it a try slide it there carefully carefully wonderful try to have folded acetate 
I'm going to place double sided tape on each end. Slide my acetate piece inside. And now take off the backing from here and from here. And I do have one pocket here. And because there is that folded acetate, nothing can go through. And I do have one pocket here, not pocket yet. This is still like a sleeve. I do have it open here. So now I can decorate these. I'm gonna distress the edges first. Add there a little bit of vintage look. I do have distress all of my pieces, including these little labels. And I'm gonna be using these stamps for stamping on frames. I think I'm gonna place there. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> And probably Santa Post. I will see. Uh, ho, 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 this way. Okay. And we're gonna give it a try. Ho, ho, ho. Here. I'm gonna try that Santa post and on both of these pieces I do have here this circle stamp with Christmas uh, Christmas saying so just with red color just a little bit of Christmas it's from here uh, happy Christmas is there Yeah, well, that's on these. These labels, I'm going to take my stamping platform because it's much better for me. And on these little labels, I'm going to stamp here that Christmas wishes and snowflake kisses because I really like that quote. And here I do have wishing you, wishing you a magical Christmas. So these two stamps I'm going to be using on these labels. So place the stamps where I think I would love to see them. Add the ink. I'm using here a red berry from Spectrum Noir. Yeah, I need a little bit more. If your first stamping is not uh, too much successful, I think I'm done with that other one. This one somehow doesn't want to go. <gasps> oh, look at that. Better. I'm going to take this Posca pen and try to add to my snowflake a little bit of white uh, my posca pen is not perfect uh, it's kind of leaking and not, not leaking so <laughs> i need to be careful what i'm gonna do with this i think it's just too old oh 
Oh yeah, it's a lot. And to make it even more wintry and kind of looks like Christmas, I'm gonna use my homemade snowflake, uh, snow, snow paste, and I'm gonna add a little bit of that snow paste. Oh, first this one is the pocket. This I'm gonna sew on the bottom first. I don't wanna mess up with my sewing machine when I will have that, that snow paste. So first I'm gonna sew the pocket. So I do have pocket here, I do have that folded acetate here, so now my pockets are ready to be under the snow. I'm gonna take my uh, snowy paste, this is aquarium, white aquarium sand mixed with uh, white acrylic paint and with PVA glue, kind of one, two, uh, one by one by one. Uh, measurement exactly same measurement actually and make a paste from that and I'm gonna keep it this way maybe I can try to put a little bit of snow here on the window Okay, now I'm gonna let this dry. My two pockets, window pockets, are drying now. So uh, till it's dry, I'm gonna create a little file folders using uh, toilet paper rolls. I'm gonna cut one side here and here, like this. Uh, you can add a little tap on one side. Maybe use punches uh, to around the corners and create the file folder this way. I'm gonna take a little help. I do have here these cute uh, file folders and they are in the size which can fit to my toilet paper roll. So I'm gonna cut out these two images and glue them on my file folders. I do have my two little file folders. I would love to have here some embossed effect. I do have here this embossing folder with stars. And I think that will be beautiful to have it there. I will try to emboss only part, maybe kind of from here to go about half to have just here and there some stars. Like this. Now I can take Distress Ink. I'm going to be using Seal Brown again. And I'm going to distress all edges. And a little bit over those uh, embossed stars. So I have distress outside and inside uh, as well. Here I put quite a lot of ink and I will try to you know, put there a few splatters of water. I'm not sure if here it will work because it's quite thick material but usually this ink makes beautiful splatters once it's sprayed with water, this seal brown. So we will see. And I think once it's dry, it will be very visible. Look at this. I do have both folders uh, inked and sprayed. And I'm going to be using the same ink. <clears throat> and I'm going to do a little stamping. For stamping, I'm going to be using uh, these snowflakes from the Creative Expression Collection. This is Festive Flurry altered snowflakes so these three and the color in the color and just add them here and there
and I think I'm done. And I would like to add here and there some uh, numbers and for that Tim Holtz it's always the best choice. I love his stamps and these all these numbers and Oi, shoot sorry <laughs> all these numbers. So here and there I'm just gonna add some number, maybe some post stamp like this. We're gonna put received to Santa and maybe something. Orders attended today or night, I think. <laughs> that belongs to Santa. I have added sewing on the sides and a little bit more stamping here and there, some label and uh, numbers, you know, to add there a little bit more. I do have my uh, little file folders. I can still put maybe some picture here. Uh, once you do have all stamping and distressing done, you can just add some uh, little file folders or little notes. Uh, inside, I do have here printed out uh, these uh, little kind of like special delivery from Santa letters. Uh, I have printed everything in smaller size. Uh, the, all images which you can see here, they are designed on uh, to print on A4 size paper. This is actually uh, like journaling page. So here I printed four sheets. And this should be also like four of these on one sheet in the larger size so everything what you see here it was printed in the smaller size so i can add there a little quote from santa and i can use my little paper clip i just made from the third uh, label i just uh, stamped I have stamped one of these and these bells and created a little cluster and then I just glue it on my uh, label. I actually used uh, cereal boxes to print on, uh, to stamp on. So I do have a cute little paper clip. So it can be put like this. I also added to the labels here a little bit of glossy accent on both of these to make them even more visible. So we do have this one. My pockets are already dry, so I can add there a little pictures from Santa's time collection. And I can add there also these cute labels. Oh, maybe not here, but here where it's both sides visible. So from one side it will be a little label, from other side it can be a cute picture of Santa. Again, I'm gonna take two toilet paper rolls, I'm gonna open them on one side. So this side I'm gonna cut off like this. I can use some decorative paper to put from outside 
we do have these two designs the inside uh, I can uh, keep as it is I'm gonna just use distress ink and distress all edges I'm gonna also cut the corners a little bit to make it more worn now I can distress the inside and outside as well here on this piece I added a little bit of resin this one and uh, that main image on this circle and I really like it it looks amazing so I do have first little booklet from outside inside I can add um, maybe some uh, writing paper I do have here this one so I believe I can do a little writing And give it a little bit of vintage look. I'm gonna be using seal brown. This test all this paper. Now spray it with water and let it do its job. And I do have this vintage looking beautiful paper, and I can just glue it here. Not gonna glue sides, I guess. I like the look of those lifted up pages. It looks kind of cute. On that opposite side, I just placed the decorative paper first. I thought I'm gonna stamping there, but because I do have here that resin piece, it's not, uh, it's not straight. It's not flat. I mean, it does have that bulb here because of that resin so I can stamp there properly so my first booklet is done and it's second one so I'm gonna distress all the edges now on one side I'm gonna cut off the window like this uh, I'm gonna distress the inside of that frame Add here some acetate piece. I think I can place that this one. It's actually exactly in the size. So <laughs> I will don't have cover everything, but most of it. I'm gonna use double-sided tape to attach the acetate piece here. acetate piece uh, I need to cut here some overlapping acetate and I do have very cute booklet I can put inside some writing papers I can cover this one with some decorative paper or I can use uh, washi tape. I do have here this beautiful washi tape. If I will find the end of my washi tape. Ah, there you go. So I can totally use a washi tape to cover the sides of my frame.
here from the outside I'm gonna place this Christmas Eve little sign I'm gonna use these foam tapes and just add that piece I think this will be enough here and a little bit here and place it somewhere here yeah probably i do have here that inside cut and so i'm gonna just cut the corners distress the edges Maybe add some little cute embellishments. I do have here this stamped uh, word bells. And this what I made by using stamping image and stamping image. And then I just glued that stamping image, I think, five times together. Actually, four, five, four, five. <laughs> to make it thicker. So maybe this I can use here like a little tap. And a little embellishment over the top. Something like this. And I do have cute little tag made from off cut from toilet paper roll. Here I can put some decorative paper also or some writing paper. But I think it's good this way as well. So that's another thing we can do from toilet paper roll. And the kitchen rolls, because they are nice and long, they are perfect for making string closed envelope. I'm going to be using again two of them. I'm going to try to score, if it will be possible to score. And it is uh, long piece of roll i'm gonna take my ruler like my measurement and i'm gonna try to score here on one side oh okay i can do that i guess so i'm gonna cut this to that score line same here from that score line to the end I can cut off totally one side. That other side will go over this. And I would like to have these corners a little bit in curve. I don't like those straight corners. Give them nice shape. Yeah, like this. That will be bottom of my envelope. And here I should decide how tall, how big envelope I want to have. So I'm thinking somewhere here. It's kind of folding itself at that point. I'm going to fold it. Try to press, but it's a lot of cardboard. So here I'm gonna cut the sides to that fold.
Now here I do have that flap, so this I'm gonna have like flap. That case I need to fold it over and I'm gonna cut off this. gonna put here a little bit of glue because it's not glued properly before uh, I will try to give to that flap and to all my envelope some nice shape I'm gonna use embossing folder and I do have here this this is very old embossing folder I think I have it for probably six years and I have no idea what company made it uh, I can't see any mark of some company but it's really beautiful folder so I'm gonna give it a try somehow I'm gonna be nearly on the end so that's good although I shouldn't be embossing that way my my flap. Well, I'm going to try to emboss it this way. And we will see what will happen. <laughs> That's actually nice. Easy. Oh, I had that, that glue, right? Okay. That's actually beautiful. I'm gonna distress it all. So here I'm gonna be using a red berry distress ink from Spectrum Noir Harmony line. And first I'm gonna all distress with that red color and I'm gonna go kind of like heavily. I do have distress all from both sides. Uh, now I'm gonna shape the flap to make it more in the shape i want i'm gonna be using this uh, corner punch to cut the corners yeah that is curve mm -hmm. and now i can use brown seal brown distress ink and distress the edges So I do have all base distressed from the off cut. I'm gonna punch, I think from this one, I'm gonna punch two circles. First I'm gonna heavily distress it with that seal brown. Now I'm gonna use this, I think it's one inch, one inch, one inch circle punch and punch two circles. Poke the holes in the middle of these circles and I'm just gonna place them together, I guess. And try to poke the hole through both of them. And yeah, it looks like in middle. I'm gonna fix one here. And I'm gonna be using the brat. And I'm gonna add a second one somewhere here. And also use a brat. Here I'm gonna poke through to both layers. Thank you. 
fix that right into half the top top layer now I can seal it just add the glue on the bottom flap and fold it over and let this dry here to cover the brat from its, uh, inside uh, I'm gonna be using one of these uh, word quotes that quoted pieces and I'm just gonna glue it over it this can be envelope where you will have a choice of holiday game night maybe some ideas uh, this could be totally here now I need to let it dry and on the back side I can put some decorative paper to cover the hole here or I can put here a label I'm just gonna stamp some label I do have here one uh, small label from those Tim Holtz vintage labels and I'm gonna just stamp on it something 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 maybe number 25th somewhere here I should try ink my ink pad Maybe. Happy Christmas. This one. And how about Christmas tree? It's too big. And because it is for game night, I do have here skates. So how about these? <laughs> That's cute. I'm gonna distress it a little bit. And glue it to cover the hole. Just glue it here. Like this. And I have created second one just with a bubble uh, embossing folder. And it looks really cute. So these string pockets can be done from... Uh, kitchen rolls and toilet paper rolls and probably most easy which I supposed to start I guess uh, if you do have some nice embossing folders I do have here these stars bubbles uh, these with words and I just found I do have this one spellbinders um, this has two different designs depends which side you're gonna fold I do have it for many years and I totally forgot so open your roll Place it to that embossing folder and emboss the pattern. So like this. Oh, look at that. It's quite good. I like it. And these. And these. And these. Grab some distress inks and distress all these parts, all, all your paper rolls. And as it is Christmas, I'm going to be using red berry and this green topaz inks. And I'm going to go with full pad just to go over. And with full pad, I'm going to distress these rolls. And one more. I think maybe this one. Once you have distressed your uh, pieces, cut them in the size you want. 
like this you can keep them in a big size as they were but if you want to have smaller frames just cut them in the size you want then cut the frames inside cut the windows inside I also distress the edges on all four of them I do have these four cards I can use as a tax and uh, I'm gonna do little layering on my frames to make them even more interesting so first I'm gonna glue each of them on a book page with the small part of that book page around that frame like this the inside I'm just gonna cut off with my knife and if I will be not exact on the edge of my frame that's totally okay if part of that book page will be peeking out from uh, an inside window as well I don't mind at all like this and I like uh, kind of like um, fabrics fabric threads peeking all around so I'm gonna be using some fabric could hear this beautiful canvas uh, fabric or not canvas cotton fabric that's what I'm gonna be using before I will be uh, gluing my frame on that fabric uh, I'm gonna take some of these little words find the one I want I choose the word I would like to add to my frames and I'm gonna use the old of cuts of cardstock and create kind of like uh, back plate for my uh, little quotes or little words always a little bit bigger or I mean a little bit longer so on the sides I will be able to put uh, brats or eyelets something like in this size now I can round the corners of this little strip I'm gonna distress it add the darker edges to make them more visible I'm gonna a little bit add darker edges on this little piece now I'm gonna glue this on my little label Place it somehow in the middle. I think somewhere here. I have made my little labels and I'm gonna attach. Oh, shoot, not now. <laughs> attach them to the frames. So first I'm gonna glue them, but I would like to have there those brats. I like the look of metal. So this can fit here in the middle, kind of like this. I'm gonna let it dry. Here I do have a little bit bigger label, uh, which would be kind of filling this space too much. So I can either place it a little bit lower or place it as a kind of like tap on my, on my frame and that's I think I'm gonna do here like this and this one is quite thick as well but if I will move it just a little bit into the frame I can fit there I need to be careful how far I go into that frame because uh, I'm gonna glue it on the fabric and I need to cut the fabric inside so <coughs> I need to be careful do not go too much in the frame so then I will have a huge issue to cut the fabric off from that and this one can go right here like 
like this. I'm gonna poke the sides and fix that the brats. like this now i can glue my little frames onto that fabric i'm gonna be using just pva glue and first i'm gonna glue these frames on that fabric then i will fussy cut out around so i do have glued the fabric around and cut the inside window and i left there a little bit of that fabric here and there and here is how the frame kind of looks like a pocket with the acetate uh, in there and with sewing effect so you can do sewing effect first on your frame make a sewing so i do have sewing around my frame i do have here this small bag i accidentally both long time ago small bucks i thought i'm buying large bucks and this came and i forgot to return it so now i'm gonna use it uh, I'm gonna flip it over, grab my back, place it into my frame, grab double sided tape. Where is the end of my double sided tape? Ah, here. Measure how big piece I will need. Grab the scissors, cut the back in the size of your frame. Now here is bottom of my frame, so I'm going to flip it this way. Now here or here will be bottom of my back. So I'm going to place it to my frame and um, as one side of this acetate is open, that's this side. And I would like to have open just the, the top to make it like a back. Here I'm gonna do one more sewing. That way I will sew through that acetate and I will close it and it will be like a pocket from top. Or I can sew this side and then it will be pocket loaded from the side. So it depends what side you would like to create the pocket. Choose the side and sew it again. Or put there some washi tape or some tape, double sided tape inside and glue that side. And you will have your frame. I'm going to sew this side. And I do have my little frames. So now I can place some pictures inside. Here I glued my double sided tape onto the... 
and I do have cute little pockets made from toilet paper roll, one book page, old uh, cotton fabric. That cotton fabric was old curtains, blinders from our windows, which I didn't use anymore. And uh, acetate bags, which I bought accidentally. That's not trash. I still <laughs> can use them somewhere. But because they are in the wrong size, for me it would be trash. Not trash, but, you know, useless item. So here they are usable items. That's another thing we can create from toilet paper rolls. So this is from toilet paper rolls and kitchen rolls, uh, what we can create. And I do believe there is much more what you can create from toilet paper rolls. Uh, it's easy craft, the paper they are using for toilet paper rolls. It's nice and sturdy, it's thick, so it can be using for die cutting as well. And it's so much fun to use something what others will uh, throw to the bin. And I do believe if you will use your stamps or maybe some digital collections you like, you can change the look of these paper rolls to something really beautiful. And maybe to give it to someone as a little gift or add it to your journals. And give that a little extra. All these digitals are now for sale in that uh, Black Friday sale with 40% off. Links will be down below. So this is my sharing for today. This is not from toilet paper. <laughs> so link will be down below for all these uh, images you can see here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day. If you are preparing for Christmas already, I wish you strength and power and happy, positive thinking because Christmas time can be very chaotic time. I now do struggle to figure it out how I will fit, uh, how the heck I will fit the Christmas, Christmas tree into all into our home because we don't have a space if i will figure it out you will see that <laughs> so this is my sharing for today i wish you a beautiful day have fun with craft take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye